We just finished our drive to West Point along Route 218 through Cornwall and Cornwall and Hudson and the town of Highland. So I thought it would be nice to take you back over Storm King Mountain, Storm King Mountain via Route 9W. But a good starting point is the Bear Mountain Rotary. So I went a little bit south and now we're about to enter the Bear Mountain Rotary. It's coming right up. Bear Mountain State Park is on the, I don't know, the right? So you could follow the Palisades Parkway right there down to New Jersey or down to Manhattan. You could follow South 9W. And let's see, off to our right here, we're gonna see it real quick, is gonna be the Bear Mountain Bridge. Here, look at the bridge. Oh, look at the beautiful bridge. You can't really see it that fast. But we're gonna get back on Route 9W, and now you can see what it's like to drive up and over Route 9W over Storm King Mountain. But first, we are, I think, in the village, the village of Highlands, the town of Highlands? It's not Highland Falls anymore. We were there before. We're going over an overpass. It looks like they're doing some construction. One night I was here and they had all these lights set up because they were filming a movie in the woods down below. Fort Montgomery. Okay, we're in Fort Montgomery. How could I have forgotten? Well, I don't drive through here very often. I usually take Route 9D on the other side through Beacon and Cold Spring and Garrison. So here we are in Fort Montgomery. Let's try and get a good view of the street without swerving all over the road while I adjust the camera. To our right, to the east, we're headed north. To the east is the Hudson River, the mighty Hudson River. And you should definitely, definitely come up here to the Hudson Valley and check out the river, check out all the scenery. We have tons of stuff going on here. Don't stay though, go back to wherever you came from, but come up here and enjoy it. And if you really love it, if you really embrace it, then by all means move here. Appears we're stuck behind a minivan. I don't want to be stuck behind a minivan. Now there's the Fort Montgomery Fire Department over there. There's a fire department in every town. Unfortunately, fire, I guess, is a part of life. And luckily we have these brave men and women who will come and save you if you catch on fire. Now, there's nothing really that exciting on this side of... I shouldn't say this side of the river, because West Point is on this side of the river, but the trip down Route 218 brought us to West Point Military, uh, United States Military Academy at West Point, or whatever it's technically called. But this trip, we're not going to go too close to that. We're probably a couple of miles away. So Route 9W is kind of dull, but it's a fun trip up and over Storm King Mountain. If you want to call it a mountain, to me a mountain has to have a granite peak. Even if it's something as small as, say, Monadnock in New Hampshire or something like that, I like to get to the top of a mountain and be on granite with no trees and no bushes and no, what do they call it, flora? Whereas Storm King Mountain is just kind of like a big hill, but I guess it's technically a mountain. So we're headed up 9W. What the hell is this? It looks like some kind of dead animal. I thought it might be a rock. I didn't want to go barreling over a rock at 45 miles an hour. So we're leaving Fort Montgomery. We're probably gonna enter the town of Highlands. I'm stuck behind. Hey, look, here I am talking about how you should come to New York and see everything we have to offer. And here are some people from Alabama. Looks like it's Alabama man in front of us. Maybe they're from the military. West Point is nearby, so you get a lot of out-of-state plates here. But welcome to New York, alabama Anians. Glad to have you here. And I hope you enjoy your stay. Yep, it's a, a young family from Alabama. Good to see those people here. I hope they have a good time. Now, from here on in, there's pretty much nothing to see. This used to be a BMW dealership right here, and there's a used boat on the side of the road if you want to buy it, and a pond. But pretty much for the rest of the drive, 
It's just this. Route 9W is kind of a boring road. Oh, I guess I spoke too soon. There's like a, a highway department type of thing off to the side here. If you need a road plowed or something. So we're on Route 9W and we're headed up. I used to do this drive in a four-cylinder Hyundai and I'd have the car loaded with all kinds of crazy stuff. And I'd be in like second gear by the time we got to the top of the mountain. It is windy out today too, but this, this car, it's a little motel there. This car is a, a Chevy Malibu, it has a V6. It's got plenty of power. So hopefully there won't be any problem getting up and over the mountain. Now right now we're looking at pavement and trees. That's pretty much all there is, and I don't know if you can hear it on the windshield, but it is windy as hell today, and it is freezing cold today. 218, get rid of the two, that's about how many degrees it is out today, like 18 maybe. Now if we take this exit right here, we'll end up at West Point, at one of the gates going to West Point. I'm going too fast, I'm going too fast. I gotta slow down a little bit. I don't want this to be a video of me getting a ticket. So we could have gone into West Point that way. I have no reason to go to West Point. And I think I can firmly say now that once we get past the overpass, the, the pedestrian walkway for the West Point golf course slash ski slope and a couple other little Department of Public Works buildings. Aw, Eagle Valley Cemetery. Then we're gonna just be on Route 9W going up and over the mountain. So there's some little outbuildings. Here's the overpass. I really wish we didn't have this car in front of us. It's not really close, but well, maybe I should do this video at six in the morning when there's no traffic. Here's the junction of 218, which is what we took before. This is where we got off 218 the first time. And now, this is when we begin to climb. Climb up the mountain. See, up there, up, up the mountain, up the mountain. Oh, I'm never gonna get this camera back to the right spot. Okay, there it is. I guess we're at the right spot. And we are climbing. You hear my car just kick down into a lower gear. We are climbing, and we are climbing, and I don't want to be futzing around too much with the camera because this road is dangerous. It's curvy. There are little patches of ice on it. We are going up. It's not really thrilling. Like here, off to the side, you can see, you know, scenery, mountains, yada, yada, yada. This is not really a thrilling drive, like if we're going up like a legitimate mountain, but there is an ascent here. There is a lot of elevation change. There's a lot of rocks. People fly up this road, especially in the winter. I don't know how you can even drive on this road when it's when it's cold. At like when it's uh it's cold, obviously, but when there's snow on the ground. But people don't care. They'll be doing 80 miles an hour in a snowstorm. So now I'm gonna pull off for a second to this. Uh, I guess it's called a pull-off. It's got a big ditch here that I don't want to go over. And you can see the view right here. Let's see if you can see it through my dirty window. This view is pretty, pretty great. You know, here's the uh, here's the river. We'll pull up a little bit further. Let's see. You can kind of see even more over there. This is this is. We're not even at the top of the at the top of the mountain yet either, but I'll keep going before we get passed by everybody. And I want to get up to speed and then pull out. Now I wouldn't recommend driving up Route 9W onto Storm King Mountain for a scenic view of the Hudson Valley. There are plenty of other much safer much easier ways to get a view of the river and everything that it has to offer. But if you're on this road, take a moment, pull off to the side, check it out. 
This road is absolutely pedestrian unfriendly. I walked up this road once. It was it was kind of a bucket list thing for me uh, to walk from my house in Newburgh across the Newburgh Beacon Bridge and down 9D and across the Bear Mountain Bridge and back up 9W. And it was a crazy, crazy thing to do, but I had a be in my bonnet so I just went ahead and did it and walking up this road route 9w it's ridiculous there's no sidewalk you're walking along this little drainage ditch on the side people are flying past at 60 70 miles an hour it was nuts it was it was a dumb thing to do I'm glad I did it you know sometimes when you get an idea like that in your head and you just got to go ahead and do it so I'm glad I did it so now it looks like we're not completely up and over the mountain. Maybe we are. I just saw the sign that we're in the town of Cornwall. And I think once we get in the town of Cornwall, that's when we begin the formal descent. This descent sucks if your car has bad brakes on it. I just did a, a what we call a pad slap. I put in new brake pads last night because mine were worn down. So I should be fine, but in my Hyundai, Man, that thing was uh, that thing was hating it by the end of it. So now we're going around this curve, and this is I think this is like the peak right here. This is where it gets kind of treacherous and kind of crazy. You can see the mountain up there, and here's oof, there was one of those crosses because I guess somebody got in a car wreck and died here, and that's just completely believable. So let's see if we can get back on track. I don't want to swerve all over the road here. Now we're headed down the mountain into Cornwall. And I don't think that we're going to end up going through Cornwall and Hudson. I think Route 9W is all Cornwall. I could be wrong. Off to our right, there's a place called the Storm King School. That's like a fairly exclusive private school. And now I'm, I'm going to hit the brakes. I'm going a little too fast here. It's getting a little nerve wracking. I mean, this car is a reliable car. It's a good car, but it's not exactly a brand new, you know, sports car or anything. So I don't want to be barreling down this mountain at some ridiculous speed. So we're on the descent now. We're coming into Cornwall. Cornwall is a beautiful town. Cornwall and Hudson is a beautiful village. And you can see, you know, kind of a scenic... There, there are certain places in Cornwall, certain homes that have really, really fantastic views. But we're kind of getting down towards the, the valley almost. So obviously the view, you're not going to have a scenic view if you're down at the bottom of the mountain. And I'm, whoa, I'm going to have to tap the brakes again. This is, this is a lot of speed. We're converting potential energy to kinetic energy at an alarming rate here. And now we're back in Cornwall. Let me give you a little, whoa, whoa. <laughs> nice camera skills there, mister. Wanted to give you a little view of this. Uh, it's kind of like a farm area off to the side. Welcome to Cornwall. Founded 1685, 1685, that's 100, uh, buh, 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 buh. over 300 years ago. I used to be better at math than I am now. Now I'm, at, now I'm bad at math. So we're in Cornwall, we've gone up and over the mountain. I think we'll go a little bit further. You know what we'll do, we'll get to the, uh, the Cornwall Hospital. So we can check that out, and then we'll call that... I don't know if I want to drive all the way to New Windsor. I mean, obviously, I have to drive to New Windsor to get home because I live in Newburgh, but I don't want to run this video to New Windsor because this is a video about the trip from West Point to Cornwall up and over the mountain on Route 9W. So here we are coming into beautiful Cornwall. If you have a chance to live in Cornwall or Cornwall and Hudson, it's kind of a small town vibe, but it's so close to, you know, 40 minutes or whatever away from New York City, maybe an hour, hour and a half away from New York City, depending on how you get there, how fast you drive. So here we have 
the Cornwall Hospital that you can see over there. And we're coming into Cornwall, and I'll tell you what, I will... I'll keep going until Moodna Creek. Now we're on 9W, and this is where 9W kind of comes back into civilization. We're passing Willow Avenue in Cornwall, and there's the Willow Overpass. Wow, that, that overpass is kind of deteriorated. They should put some money into fixing that. And up here on the right, we've got a couple of restaurants. And so we're back in town. So that section where we went over the mountain, that was kind of remote. But we went through Fort Montgomery. I think we went through the town of Highlands. And now we're back in Cornwall. Here's the, the Cadet Motel. Here's the Avocado Restaurant. That went in a few years ago. It seems to be doing well. I've never eaten there. And I don't know what this vacant lot is on the side. I don't... You know, a couple years ago, I was coming down here late at night, about midnight, this exact stretch of road, and a deer ran across all four lanes right in front of my Hyundai. Boom! The deer died. The Hyundai ran for... I, I'm sure I could... The Hyundai will probably still run it, you know. Hyundai is the best car you can buy, basically. And that deer, poor thing, was prying a deer chop out of my fender. So now we're closing in on Moodna Creek, which is the town line with New Windsor. So... I guess we will cut it there. Look at this beautiful scenic view of the Hudson Valley. Thanks for joining me on this drive up Route 9W in Cornwall, New York.